Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here. It's nice to be back in front of the camera, bringing you the listings for the last 24 hours. Two quick things. The first one is you're going to hear the printer go off beside me. We're putting together a couple Milton price report requests, which we've received in the last day or two. So if you if you live in Milton, you want to know what things are selling for, we send you the links to the sales. We send you all the market statistics you want to know, and it's a great report to just keep in touch with values. So you can go to MiltonPriceReport.com and you can request that. Um, second thing is the buyer class is tomorrow night. We're only taking registrations till tomorrow. I think there's two seats left. Uh, so if you're interested, hop over pretty quick to uh, MiltonBuyerClass.com or you can click the link just over there. It'll take you as well. But we really pack it in with some good information. Uh, it's about two hours. So in the time that you could watch a bad movie, you get a lot of information that's going to save you time and money when you buy a house, including three first-time buyer incentives that together will give you more than $13,000 uh, of basically free money or savings. Uh, we look at what uh, what happens at a home inspection. We give you real slides from the inspection. Uh, how to avoid the rate trap in mortgages. So is getting the lowest rate always the best thing? You got to be careful about that kind of stuff. We talk about all the steps, all the hidden costs involved, how to beat buyers to other homes, even before they're listed. And uh, so anyway, MiltonBuyerClass.com. Let's get to today's list. Hampshire Way is 364.5. The vast majority of these sell uh, in the 350 to 360 range. You've got nice high nine foot ceilings, which you don't have in the Mattamy Village towns. And uh, this one's about 11, I think it's around 1125, 1175 square feet. So I think their pricing is on, they do have a small uh, maintenance fee attached, but like maybe 50 or 60 bucks. But even if, because this is so close to the highway, if you're going to Mississauga or Toronto, you're taking the highway, uh, this can save you time. First of all, it can also save you money on gas. So if you're way over in the Southwest and you're going to Toronto, that 50 or $60 could really get, uh, it could be the difference in, in gas you're gonna spend per month. So Septimus, we don't tend to think like that. We always think about the house price, uh, but you need to look at the ecosystem of how that price is gonna um, save you time or money down the road. So Septimus is 379. This is a village townhouse. Uh, I can look at this model and say, it's probably like it looks like it's a wood buying, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, they have sold around this kind of price, the highest being 382 in the last 60 days. This one on Schreier, one of the models went for 389, but the thing is you can't just look at previous sales. You have to look at competition, and there's like five at 379 right now, so the world does not need another one on Septimus at 379.9. Um, I think these guys have a bit of a better approach. I think when you have a cluster of homes, you need to decide if you're going to go above it or below it. You can't just put yourself right in the mix. I think that's a mistake. Uh, people like to brag about their finished laundry rooms in these models. And I, while it is very nice, uh, you don't always get what it costs uh, when you buy it from the builder. You just don't get it back on return. This is the only village town that has the, uh, the Eden kitchen which I think is good it's probably my favorite uh, village town the one downside to it is that there's not really an option to get a second bathroom upstairs so you only have one full bathroom and there's three bedrooms here second and third bedrooms are not huge um, if you look this one up it is um, a Brent Ridge End if you type in on Google Madame Brent Ridge End you should find the floor plans uh, Kavanaugh is 436. It's a hills view. It's just over 1,500 square feet. Hardwood stairs, but no hardwood floors. Uh, it would have been a good investment to put the hardwood in. They wouldn't have lost money on that. Um, pricing, they've, the models have been all over. There's been a, a pretty wide variation. So I think when that's the case, it's not such a bad idea to put it a little bit high and see what happens, especially if there's not a lot for sale right now. And to put the side fences here, you're looking at might be a thousand bucks if you share it with your neighbor combined. So uh, Houston is 450. It's a little bit smaller than the previous, but it's got a finished basement and it's a semi-detached uh, for $14,000 more. 
You've got the aggregate outside, and obviously these neighbors have uh, gotten along enough that it certainly looks like they shared uh, the cost for that. Hardwood floors, um, you kind of walk through here. So it's a little bit like, what do you do in this space? It's kind of a dead zone because you can't put a table there. You can put a TV, but then now you're watching from your couch, like all the way across the room. I don't know, I could see layout challenges. I could see people thinking the kitchen is a little bit small. I mean, they've cleaned and simplified and, and it looks, you know, it looks like a home that, uh, that you could certainly imagine yourself in. Finished basement helps. Uh, but that main floor just might be a little bit of uh, a tricky one for people to imagine themselves in. Coming is 494, semi-detached. If you're up near 500,000 for a semi, you've got to impress. Like you've either got to have a lot of size or you got to look pretty good. The pictures aren't doing it here, really, very much at all. Uh, so anyway, good luck to them. The garage looks like it's a little bit bigger. It says it's a one and a half car garage which for a semi-detached is something that's pretty rare. We don't see it often. Uh, there is the potential when we have a one and a half to maybe even see the driveway where you can park two cars side by side, which is a nice thing. Alexander Crescent is 559. Detached, single car garage, nice finishes inside here. It looks like uh, the model is called the Cleveland model. And it says it's approximately 2000 square feet. I think it's a little smaller than that. Dressed up very nicely. They've replaced the uh, the vanity and the master. Uh, you've got a great looking shower here. Here's the funny thing. Uh, their son, Alexander, I assume it's a son, probably shouldn't assume, but Alexander lives on what street? Alexander Crescent. Kind of interesting. Don't see that often. And then you've got uh, what looks like a very nice finished basement. Here's the... Here, Here's the kind of misleading thing about this one is that it says it backs onto green space clear view. Well, let's talk about that. Here's the house right here, backs onto green space, but it also backs onto arguably the busiest road in Milton, which is James Snow Parkway. Uh, you also have the hydro station here. This is all zoned for industrial commercial. You have the tracks down here. So it's not that sort of peaceful serenity kind of thing. You're going to hear noise. It is still nice having no neighbors behind. I don't want to take that away from them, but it's just maybe not, I think, what everybody would expect when they come here to, uh, to have a look. The other thing you can probably do here is you could probably extend the driveway out and do the two car parking side by side if you chose to. McLaughlin's the last one in this list, and they were at 579. They're down to 569. And really, these pictures are not good. We talked about how how poor they were and how it just is not giving the right impression for this home. It looks dark, it looks small, it looks cluttered, which are kind of your big three, which you don't wanna do when you're listing your home. So good luck to them. Uh, Wilson is over on the Oakville Milton real estate system. And if you've just started to watch Daily Homes, we have two different real estate boards that some agents are part of one, some agents are, are part of the other. We're part of both because we want to get full access. So when our clients are, are receiving updates about listings, we actually have to send from two systems. Or when we're doing research on a home's value, we actually have to do the research twice, once on one system, once on the other. Anyway, the point is, is that we have to pull the data from both in order to get you the best information possible. Anywhere around Wilson and Woodward, you find that there's the electric baseboard heat. And so the other thing about this one is it doesn't have the garage. So when you look at the difference between this and the condo towns that are going for 280, 290, 320, it really is that difference is that you only have one parking spot. Whereas if you have a garage, typically there's a garage plus one spot in the driveway. So if you have two people with cars, it can cause a bit of problems. Um, inside they've done a good job you know we have seen some of these go up in the 250s I haven't done a lot of research in this area in the last little while but really what they're banking on is that the basic basic ones are probably 235 240 they put a lot of work into this it looks nice and uh, you know it's a good location the schools are nearby and uh, so that's it so the upgrades and finishes potentially mean to me that they might get the uh, the price Coming is 469, so we have two on coming right now. It's an awkward street name, isn't it? 
Uh, this one is a pretty good size. You've got a uh, like almost a three-sided fireplace here. And they've done a good job getting it ready. There's parquet floors, but they've stained them, so it looks a lot better. We've talked about that in previous episodes. I believe they took these cabinets and they raised them up to try and get the microwave further away from the range. But overall, the kitchen, I think, gives a nice impression. There's three pretty good-sized rooms upstairs, plus there's a finished basement here. And we see a lot of basements with, uh, with laminate floors. I'm a big fan of plush carpet in the basement. I don't think there's anything better than that. I like that soft, warm feeling of having a good carpet with amazing under pad. And so I give them kudos for that. And they've done the, uh, the patterned uh, or the aggregate uh, concrete as well. Last one for today is 259. It's a cabinet model, which I think is somewhere around the mid to high 700 square feet, 259. It's on the fourth floor and a pretty <laughs> abysmal display of like this condo, I think anyway. None of the shots show anything about the ceilings. They just describe it. They have stuff on top of the cabinets. They have stuff on top of the fridge, which is unfortunate. There's too many things on the counter. They're dark pictures. Uh, anyway, <laughs> then they show like four shots of the party room, which is where they're selling the new units for the other building that's being built. Uh, don't think that this is the actual unit. That's the party room for, uh, for this whole development. So just weird that there's four shots of the development. There's none of the ceilings. The shots in the apartment are not good. I don't know, it's too bad because it actually, I think this one's a really good deal. It's a one bedroom plus a den uh, with the higher ceilings. It actually looks like the finishes are okay too. So it might even be a hidden gem. So jump all over that. And uh, despite what they're doing to market it, it is, I think, a good opportunity. If uh, you have any questions about anything, give us a call. Remember the two things we talked about in the video. Uh, at the start of the video it was the Milton Buyer class and then also the uh, MiltonPriceReport.com. So we're, uh, we're here to help you in any way we can. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.